to my channel. My name is Miss Fun Price, and today we are back with a perfume haul. I was actually really excited to do this video because I love perfume. Like, it changes the whole vibe of your outfit. It changes your mood sometimes. Like, I just love perfume. I love smelling good. I love for people to ask me, hey, what do you have on? Oh, what is this? Oh, that smells familiar. I smelled that before. Oh, I never smelled that before. Like, I just love the different reactions that perfume gets. It's a good conversation starter. So I just love perfume so much. I have a couple perfumes that I want to talk about in this video today. Well, it's not a couple. It's like 12 of them. But these were like my most complimented, my most most um, noticeable, the ones that I like the most personally. These are my favorite perfumes of 2022. Okay, so the first perfume I'm gonna talk about today is my most favorite perfume out of all the perfumes in this haul. It is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I'm pretty sure y'all seen this perfume before. This is an iconic perfume bottle, first of all. Everyone loves this perfume just based off the bottle. This is a really, really good scent. I like to wear it at night, but I, sometimes I wear it a day. I will wear it anytime, and I don't know. So I actually have these texture strips that I want to spray the perfume on. I can smell this just to see, like, to get that feeling back that I get whenever I actually wear it. So, mm, I just love this perfume so much. I don't even know where to start with this. It's, like, musky, but sweet at the same time. It just smells like a day night scent or just somewhere you're going somewhere nice like joey if you're in houston you know joey uptown this would be a really good perfume for something like that somewhere dark with dim lights and just a vibe probably some nice jazz music playing in the background something just real chill and cool oh my god i smell it um so i feel like i smell patchouli but i'm not 100 sure i love patchouli definitely smell like a little musk in here it smells like it will be some amber not 100 sure but that's why I get right off the bat. I don't really know the floral because I can't really tell just based off of this, but I know it's another type of floral scent in here. So I'm actually gonna look up the notes just so I can get a good idea of what's in this perfume. These are the main accords that you smell. These aren't necessarily the notes, but it's sweet. It's like a white floral, like I said. It's warm and spicy. I think that's where the musk is coming in at. It might have some um, saffron, I'm not sure, but it's not super spicy. It's just like a little mild of spice. Vanilla, cacao, amber, tumorose, woody, like I said, almond. Ooh, maybe that's what I really like about it because I love almond. And the powdery. I've really gotten into powdery perfumes because I usually like the musky, strong, almost cologne smelling perfumes. But something about the powdery just smells so fresh and clean. I just love it so much. The top notes are almond, coffee, bear mind. Bear mind is what I smell, not patchouli. Um, oh wait, it is patchouli. Okay, let me just go through the notes because I'm getting ahead of myself. Top notes are almond, coffee, bear mint, lemon. The middle notes are the tumorose, like we said, jasmine, orange blossom, orris, hope that's how you pronounce it, Bulgarian rose. The base notes are tonka bean. Tonka bean is also a really, a note that I just love. If I smell tonka bean in a fragrance, I'm getting it most likely. Cacao, vanilla, perline, um, sandalwood, musk, amber, cashmere, wood, cinnamon, patchouli, and cedar. All of my top favorite notes. Like, I just love all of those notes. I love all of those smells. They just smell so good. Whenever I wear the scent, I love to wear like dark colors. Just, I don't know if it's just based off the bottle, but the smell just smells kind of dark to me. I guess it's the warm spice. But I just like to wear dark colors, or I like to wear like black and pink. Like that, I just feel like black and pink goes really well with this gold um just like navy, like a navy black a really dark um uh, green or uh, maybe like a dark burgundy a dark purple just like dark colors for some reason like i say it reminds me of the nighttime but oh god i love this so much y'all should definitely get this okay so for my next scent it's actually a new scent for me i actually just got this scent during Christmas actually, but I will already put it at the top of my list um, with my most favorite of 2022. So usually I don't like Gucci, but I received this as a Christmas present this year. This is Gucci Guilty. It is a parfum, but this perfume is like, when I first sprayed it, I was like, uh, kind of old lady-ish, not really feeling it that much. But once it starts settling, I was like, okay, 
I'm going to add that this to my top perfumes of this year because I have to. I might end up wearing this today. We'll see. When you first spray it, it's kind of strong. So initially when you spray it, I don't know how to explain it. It just smells alcohol based. I'm not sure if it is alcohol based perfume, but I just smell like a lot of alcohol. But after a while, it smells like vanilla, powdery. Um, the main thing I smell is the vanilla and the powder. It's some light florals in there. I'm not sure what flower it is, but I smell the light florals. Possibly a sandalwood, because I smell like a little, uh, not a warm spice, but like a light spice. It's just like light and powdery kind of, but it's also like intense enough for people to actually smell it and for you to get a compliment off of it. So the main of that's in this perfume are floral, like I said, violet, citrus, it's fresh. It's a fresh spice, um, powdery, like I said, rose, um, soft spice, aromic, patchouli, like I said. Most of these perfumes might have patchouli in it. I'm, I will tell you, either half or most of them is either gonna have patchouli, amber, bear mind, um, and probably sandalwood. So expect to hear that a lot throughout this video. So the top notes that you'll smell is pink pepper, mandarin orange, and bear mind. There you go. And for the middle notes is lilac, violin, um, geranium, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, and rose. And the base notes is patchouli and amber. So I think one of the top things you smell is the amber. You smell like the powder. You smell the floral. You can smell all the florals. It's very floral and powdery. Mm. This is just like a nice daytime scent. If you go into like something real sophisticated, I just like sophisticated stuff for the most part. But if you go into like a nice um, business, um, it can be for a business meeting too, like business meetings, um, a nice little brunch at a nice restaurant. Um, where else would I wear this? Oh, it's just a really good scent. Oh, I love it so much. I'm gonna keep smelling it. Oh my God. I will wear this with like lighter colors. Like I would wear it with this outfit, even though this isn't too light, but it's something about the powder and like brown. So like powder and brown just go, it just remind me of like black girl magic or something. I don't even know. But I would wear it with something like this, maybe like some cream color outfits, definitely browns. Um, Like with some, I don't know how your hair be. You can really wear any hairstyle with this. This I think this will go really good. I honestly think all these scents will go good with this outfit right now. But I just love it so much. It lasts all day. I got a compliment the first day of me wearing it. Love it so much. The person who bought this, you know who you are. You put me on to Gucci because I was opposed to Gucci. I didn't like, I really don't like Chanel's and Gucci for some reason, but uh, I changed my mind with this Gucci Guilty. So we smell some intense perfumes most of my perfumes are gonna be a little intense, but let's try to soften it up a little bit. Next perfume is something that I actually seen on TikTok. I'm pretty sure most of y'all seen this on TikTok. But it was it went viral like probably during the middle of this year, probably around summertime, because this is a summertime scent. So this is the perfume. I actually forgot the name, so let me look it up really quick. But this is a perfume oil. This is how the bottle looks. This bottle is so cute and then it got this little side details right here that is so cute also this just look real royal i don't know it just give me royal type because it seems like you'll just like unscrew it and just stab it on and all that kind of stuff so i really love the fact that this is an oil because oil lasts a really long time for the most part most oils do okay i ain't gonna lie i think i actually mentioned this in one of my vlogs and initially i really didn't like it because like I said, I'm a musky, amber, cedarwood, woody, um, some floors, but not too many floors. I want the floors to be like a middle note or something. I don't want the floors to like stand out the most. But So usually I don't go for floral front perfumes. But this one really started to get me. It's floral, but it's a little fruity at the same time. Like I definitely smell fruit. Maybe like pear. I feel like this could be pear. Mm, it smells so fresh. This is definitely a daytime summer scent. I really do like this perfume, but it took me some time to actually like come around to it, but I'm glad I actually added it to my collection. This is the description. 
It says the fruity florals are soon jointed with a burst of hypnotic roses and juicy peaches. I can smell peaches actually before hibiscus and coconut catch the breeze and bring it all into a rich nighttime finale. I don't get nighttime from this. I don't think, I think most of my scents that I have is like an acquired type of smell and I don't think it will fit for everyone. But if you're a floral girl or if maybe you're a musky girl who wanna transition into floral, I say try it. Like I, it's pretty cheap so you're not gonna be too mad from spending it if you don't like it. But I don't see everyone liking this if I'm being completely honest. But this is a perfect, I ain't gonna say perfect, but it is a really nice summertime scent for me and it's an oil. And I love to mix this with a perfume that's not in my collection. Well, it's not in my favorites today, but it's, it's like a Valentino perfume. But I love to mix it with this, or I'll mix it with the next perfume I'm about to show you. So this next perfume is actually a Zara perfume. As you can see, I use most of this because I really love it. I got this from Zara. Y'all, Zara do have some really good perfumes. Like, I love me a good high end, but Zara, like if you're on a budget and you still want to smell really good and the perfume actually lasts, go to Zara because you will like this. This is very fruity and like water. So it smells like fresh waters. I want to say a pear, maybe green apple. It just smells like green to me. It smells like green fruits, green apple, water, pear. Um, I don't really know. Maybe some citrus. I can smell citrus. Okay, so the main of course that pops up for Suddenly Venus is fruity. Like I said, that's the very first one that shows up. Sweet, citrus, amber. I really don't get the amber. Fresh, I smell that. Sour, like I said, because green just smells sour to me. Warm, spicy, balsamic. So I can definitely smell the sour and the balsamic. It's kind of like a, not vinegar, but you know, on that type of acidic level. But really love this. Let's see what the notes are. The top note that they mentioned is Bearmont. The middle notes are like red berries. And the base note is Myrai. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. I don't really smell red berries. Like I said, I smell green. Because I smell pear, apple, citrus, watery, vacation type of vibe from this. But you know, that's what they say is red berries. So I guess it's red berries, but I would wear this with ooh, like a white outfit, light colors. Like, like I said, summertime vibes, chilling, vacation, by the beach, maybe a pool party, um, an outdoor event, like a picnic or something. Maybe you'll sit on the patio for brunch with your friends. This is a parfum also. So it lasts a really long time. It lasts for hours. I have to go to Zara to check this out. Okay, so for my next perfume, the bottle is practically empty because this is a really good perfume that all the girls love. I'm pretty sure you've seen girls mention this last year in their haul. This is Fresh by Machino. It is a really good scent. They have other ones, but this is the gold version, and I love it. For one, this bottle is so cute. It's like a little spray bottle, even though it doesn't spray. That's just the top. But this is how it looks whenever you do take the top, the spray bottle top off. And I feel like anybody would love this. I bought one of my coworkers this scent, actually, because she smelled it on me. She was all, oh my God, I love it so much. What is that? I told her, got it for her. She loves it. Her husband loves it. Everybody loves this scent. And I don't know what it is. Let me spray it and try to figure out why we all like this scent so much. Now, now that I'm smelling it, maybe the girls that get it just get it, but I don't know if everybody would like this. What is that? I don't even know what that smell is. It smells so good. This smell this could potentially have almond. I'm not sure. See, this is just a, such a unique scent. I can't even think what could be in here. The main of course for this one, fruity. Don't really get too much fruit. Sweet, got a little sweet vanilla. Okay, no. Powdery, woody, tropical, green, citrus for sure, and aquatic. So it's a little bit of water in there. But yeah, this is a really unique scent. Like I just love this so much. Top notes are pear. There we go with the pear. Pear, mango, white peach, uh, mandarin, orange, and grapefruit. The middle notes are orchids, jasmine. The base notes are vanilla, musk, and sandalwood and patchouli. So like I said, patchouli, 
amber, sandalwood, cedarwood. Those are all smells that you are gonna smell me wearing. This is a day and a nighttime scent. You can wear this any time of day, any type of event, whatever. It is kind of strong, so you don't need that much. Maybe a couple pumps if you want to keep it mild. If you want to spray it down, then you can definitely do that too. It's very buildable. It mixes well. Oh my God. So I actually mixed this with, um, what is that lotion called? The Bum Bum Cream, the yellow bottle that she gives from Sephora. Y'all, if y'all have this and y'all have that cream, put the cream on, spray this. Somebody literally told me I smell like a vacation. I smell like coconuts. I smell like a pina colada. It just makes them want to go to Mexico or some a Jamaica. Like they want to just be on an island. Hawaii, they want to be drinking out of coconuts. That's what someone literally told me. She said I smell like a dream vacation. So definitely check this one out. So let's get into the musky, strong, not everybody says perfume. So the one that I have is one that I probably don't know how to pronounce. It's Daniel Geyser. But this is the perfume. It is an Arabic perfume. And this is the name of the perfume. Hopefully y'all can pronounce it because I'm too lazy to even butcher it. This was actually a random buy. Like, mm, this actually reminds me of the uh, Good Girl perfume. It has like, I'm pretty sure it has a lot of similar notes in this perfume. Because I definitely smell the Bear Mind, the Woods, the, the Warm Spice, a hint of floral. Hints of fruits, not really sure what type of fruits, but it's there. Maybe like a plum. Ooh, it just smells so deep. Ooh, I love this so much. Okay, so the main accords for this perfume is sweet, powdery, woody, vanilla, iris, white florals, earthy, patchouli, and warm spice. That perfectly describes this. That's exactly how it smells. It's powdery, but it's sweet at the same time, but it's woody. I think the main thing that sticks out is the powder. Then you smell like the sweetness in the back and then like the wood is just like all the way around. If you could imagine. Can y'all imagine that? I hope y'all know what I'm talking about because I don't know how else to explain this. All right, so the top notes are Jasmine, Rose, and Bear Mint. Told you I smelled that Bear Mint. And I think that had Rose and Jasmine. We'll see. The middle is the Iris Patchouli and Sandalwood. The base is Perline, Vanilla, and Musk. Very similar to the Carolina Herrera. I think this is in the same price range. I really do not remember, but this is a really good scent. And I know you probably haven't seen this scent that often, but I do get a lot of compliments on this scent. So this is definitely one that you would want to add to your collection. If you can find it, it's probably not that rare, but I've never seen it before the day I got it. So maybe it's a rare scent to find. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But either way go, you should definitely look for this scent. Okay, so for my next perfume, it's going to be a spicy one. So I'm excited about it. This one took me a little while to get used to, kinda, but I ended up falling in love with it. This is Perfect by Marc Jacobs, the intense version. So as you know, they have a regular version, but this is the intense. And I really love this top, that is so cute. This bottle is everything, like I just love how this looks. If you like to get perfume just based off the bottle, get this one, or just get the um, regular Perfect without the intense. This is very intense, actually, I'm gonna spray it. Okay, spray, spray. You don't even need that much of this because it's just cherry in this. I wonder if this is have banana and cherry in it since they have it on here. Who knows? But initially, when you smell it, you smell of spice for sure. Definitely a spice. Definitely some amber in here. Definitely some cinnamon, vanilla, mm, some type of wood, either probably cedarwood. Mmm. I really do love this. I guess you could say a little powdery too. Maybe some almond. Ooh, okay. Well, let's get into the notes. Main accords for this is almond. Like I said, ooh, it's getting good. Almond, fruity, nutty, sweet, yellow florals, white florals, woody, green, and just florals in general. The top notes are Narcissus. Never heard of it. Uh, night blooming jasmine. The middle notes is almond, and the base notes is sandalwood. So. The base is very strong. The wood and the almond is the two that really stick out to me. But this is kind of mature. Like, I think any age group, well, 25 and up. This is for 25 and up, for sure. So if you're under 25, you don't need to be wearing this. This just get real sophisticated, boss. She knows what she wants. Uh, not easily impressed. Probably dominant. Just get boss, for real. You have to be dressed up for this. You can't just have on a real outfit. Then again, 
Yeah, I feel like this is too much for this outfit that I got on. So definitely need to dress up with this scent for sure. Okay, so the next scent that I have, I actually need to get the full size bottle because I only got the little one, the little travel size. But this is the Replica by Margiela. This is Jazz Club. I really love Jazz Club. I'm pretty sure you smell, you've seen a lot of the girls have this in their scents. For the last couple of years, actually, like this isn't a new scent. People have been talking about this for at least for three years or so, from what I can remember. I may be wrong, who knows? But I've seen it multiple times. Once again, another really dominant warm scent. This is unisex. I tried to get this to my boyfriend. He didn't like it. It was too feminine for him because it is very woody. Like I smell a lot of wood. Whew, whew, a lot of spice. But at the end of the day, besides the wood and the spice, there is some floral, something sweet is in this. Maybe almond. This one smells more woody than creamy, but you know, it may be some almond in this. Who knows? The main of course for this is tobacco. See, that, I think that's what, that's what get, gets the men who actually can wear this. Tobacco, sweet, rum, vanilla, woody, soft spice, amber, some warm spice, and powdery. How many florals in here? I don't smell any florals at all. I don't think there are any florals. Let's see. Top knots are pink pepper, Lani lemon the middle notes is rum java clear sage the base notes are tobacco leaf vanilla and cyrax now this has a lot of scents that i usually ne i've never heard of some of these scents actually but this is a very unique smell I need to get the full size bottle because this is almost over halfway gone i need the whole bottle of this mm. so my next perfume is actually actually this was a sponsorship at one point this is the Amory Chiffon by Dosi Air. Hopefully you can see that. But I really love this scent. I know this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. It smells so good. The amber sticks out so much in this. I feel like the amber sticks out more in this than it does in the 540 perfume. Mm. It's sweet. It's ambery. Uh, you got this spice from the saffron. Maybe a little vanilla. Um, mm. so the notes are saffron, orange blossom. Mm. Don't really smell too much citrus. Uh, the middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. The base notes is oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. I would have wear this any type of day. And this is a buildable scent. You can mix this with something else and it makes a beautiful scent. I had two bottles and I used a bottle completely. So this is actually a second bottle. That's why it's so much in here still, but best believe this will be gone in a couple months. Okay, just to go back to the sweet side of things, I have another kind of sweeter, fruitier scent. Sorry, my perfume's kind of dusty. I haven't picked this one up in a while. This is Seed by Giorgio Armani. Another staple summertime scent that you can still wear in the winter if you want to be cute and girly and smell like fruits and the spray because I forgot what it smells like. Ooh, definitely fruity. This is a fruity. It's just smell like pure fruit with a little musk on the end, just to like add some maturity to it. Ooh, love it so much. You can wear this any type of day. Love this in the daytime. So this is what it says on Ulta's website. Is a, fru a fruity and floral women's perfume with notes of pear, rose, and woody vanilla for women who is feminine and free. So I guess you can't say this is a feminine and free scent. This would be a good scent to wear during the summertime for sure, springtime. I say in the winter too, if you got like you a nice white coat. Have y'all seen that video with J-Lo and uh, L.O. Cool J? What's the name of that song? Like, oh no, I'm so if she would have had this on with that outfit, the white outfit, he would have came crawling back, which he did, but still. Okay, so for my next scent, it's very fresh. Like, this is one of the only fresh scents that I have in my perfume collection, but I really like it. Actually, I just got this too for Christmas from my granny, so thank you, granny, if you're watching this. I know you are. This is Calvin Klein Beauty. Now, like I said, this is very fresh in my opinion. Let's smell it. It is kind of mature, so I don't I don't really see a lot of the younger crowd liking this too much because it's kind of mature. But right off the back, it just smells powdery, 
fresh as head. Smell like you just took a shower. You just put some deodorant on, some like nice little lotion. So I think this would be really good to pair with like uh, like a regular body cream that you have. And this is very layerable. I actually miss this with Machina Gold. Love it, Shelf's Kiss. So the main of course is white floral, like I said. It's, well, I didn't say that, but <laughs> a floral, musky, and woody. I don't really smell the wood, but apparently it has wood in it. But it says that the top notes are musk, the middle notes is amber, and the base notes is Virginia cedar. So, I don't know, I just get really fresh from this. Hmm, really good scent. It's layered with other perfumes if you want to smell really fresh. You'll love it. And last but not least, I have my Dolce & Cabana The One. So this is a really mature scent. Also, I don't see everyone liking this. This is kind of one of those spicier, musky, woody scents. So it's not for everyone unless you just the girl who likes woody scents. But I am that girl. I need to figure out which one of these I'm wearing today. Mm. Very different, very unique scent in my opinion. It definitely smells fresh. I smell a powder, some uh, musky for sure. Um, mm, amber. Maybe, I don't smell citrus, I don't know. Let's look at the notes. So the main of course is fruity. Don't really get that from this. Uh, white floral, vanilla, powder, sweet, amber, citrus, fresh, musky, and soft, spicy. Definitely get the soft spicy because it's light and powdery, but at the same time, it's very spicy. So this is for a spicy woman. You gotta be the one, like the bottle said, to wear this. You have to be that one. Top notes are peach, peachy, mandarin orange, and bergamot. The middle notes are Lily, Plum, Jasmine, and Lilia. This is a very boss girl scent. Okay, so that's the end of this haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it. So I decided which perfume I want to wear today, and I'm choosing Gucci Guilty, probably because it's still new, so I just want to wear it out. I like to wear things out. <sighs> like I said, I don't like the initial smell, but I know it's going to smell so good once it's settled. So I'm really happy. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.